Hey guys, it's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com and today in our welding quick tip we're going to answer a very good question that we get quite a bit and that is how to fix a bad weld. So before we go into how to fix a bad weld, first I want to cover the things that you do not do to fix a bad weld. Probably the first thing that comes into like a newbie's mind is just put more weld on it. Putting more weld on it is not going to fix your bad weld. It's gonna be big and globby and ugly and you're gonna end up having to grind it. And of course, if you're just welding on top of a bad weld and you end up grinding, you're just grinding off all the stuff that you just put on there to hold your weld. So that's just not the way to do it. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to just fix a bad weld. The only thing you can do is to grind that whole sucker off and start from scratch. So that being said, what grinding wheel should you use? Well, that kind of differs on your project. Now, a lot of people just use those big, hardcore, thick grinding discs, right? And, and those work great, but in our business, we do a lot of ornamental stuff on railings and gates and custom furniture and light fixtures. We don't really want to be taking those big, hardcore grinding discs to those welds. They are going to grind those welds off quickly and easily, that's great but you also run the risk of digging into your material. Now, if you're working on big structural projects, that's probably not a big deal for you. But if you're doing ornamental work like we do, that is a big deal. We don't want to damage the material. We just want to remove that weld and be able to start from scratch. So what do we use? Our favorite tool of choice is what's called a flat disc. Now basically this is like sandpaper, it's strips of sandpaper that are just overlapped and glued onto a disc. Now just like sandpaper, these come in different grits. So the lower the number, the more coarse the sandpaper is going to be. It's just the perfect combination of grinder wheel and sandpaper. So it'll remove anything that you need to get off quickly, but it also leaves a very nice smooth finished surface. Now the other great thing about flat discs is you can get them anywhere. Any hardware store is going to carry flat discs to fit a four and a half inch angle grinder, which is what we recommend you have in your shop. And also you can just order these online if you like. That's what we like to do. We go online and order them uh, in big packages, it saves you a little bit of money and it ships right to us. So that's it for today's welding quick tip. I'm Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com. And if you want some more great tips and tricks like this, come over to theathomewelder.com, sign up, join the community. We're gonna send you some great tips like this every single week and we'll show you some good welding tips and things that you need to know as a DIY welder. So that's it, I'm Andy Fogarty and I'll see you again next time.